Yo, what's going on guys? This is Game Nut321, and welcome to my little walkthrough or analysis or theories on the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 trailer. Now, I'm actually going to walk through the trailer with you guys. If you actually haven't seen the official Five Nights at Freddy's 2 trailer, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description and you guys can watch it for yourself. So, I highly suggest you watch it for yourself first, and then you come back to this video and just like watch me analyze it for you guys, break it down, and all that other stuff. So, let's go ahead and press play right here. Now... As you can see right here, you see all these creepy pictures right here. And I'm actually going to pause it right here for a second. So, we're looking at some creepy drawings that I'm assuming kids drew. Now, if you look closely at the top one right here, it says, My Day at the New Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And you see like a little kid giving like the little chica a present or giving him a hug. I don't know. He's like, I love you. Give me a hug. But see, it's weird because the, the chicken looks really freaky to me i don't know why a kid would draw that like if you look at this bottom one right here you see freddy chica and bonnie and you see their head pieces but they're hollowed out like you don't see their eyes and i don't know why kids are drawing these like are they really freaking or freaky i don't know like I, this is, looks really freaky guys so apparently these kids drew these and if you're paying attention to the actual the text in these drawings, it says, My day at the new, like new is in a different color, and it's like bold. And the thing is, this is this is probably hinting that this is a new Freddy Fosbear's pizza, saying that this is a new place. Like it's been remodeled from the past one. Because in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, Five Nights at Freddy's, Freddy Fosbear's pizza was the old one it took place in like the early 90s or whenever it happened i'm not sure when exactly five nights at freddy's one took place but it happened in the past now this five nights at freddy's 2 is a new five nights at freddy's Fe freddy fosbear's pizza i'm sorry i'm like these tongue twisters right here but yeah this is actually a new place so let's keep going right here as we keep scrolling to the right and you're gonna see something right here so, you see Bonnie right here from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. I'm going to pause it right here. You see Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's 1, and he looks torn up. And when people first see this, they think, okay, what the heck happened? There's no robot in it. What's going on? And it looks screwed up. Like, they looked like they took it apart. They took out his legs. They took out his skeleton, his little robot skeleton. And all you see is just the bottom row of his teeth. Now, I'm going to unpause it right here. You're going to see something right here real quick. Actually, his eye right here turns red and it looks like these torn apart this torn apart bonnie right here has still has some power left in it and that, that's actually really freaky because how can a torn apart bonnie still have some sort of power in it if they took it apart now i'm going to keep playing it right here okay we're at this image and it says forgotten now i'm going to keep playing it from right here and once once it actually scrolls up I'm going to pause it right here. You actually see another one of the Fosbear suits or the Freddy suits or the animatronics, I should say, from Final Fantasy Freddy's 1. And this is Chica right here. And he actually looks really dead. Like, he looks like he has no power left in him. All you see is, like, his mouth open and it says, let's eat on his bib. And he just looks really dead. And he looks just as dead as Bonnie, but not as torn up and stuff like that. Now, this word comes up dismantled. And this image comes up, and right here you see Freddy right here. I'm going to pause it right here again. Sorry about that. But you see Freddy right here, and he looks dead too. Like his, his mouth is open. His eyes are like kind of like he looks like he's high or something. He looks dead, and he looks dismantled like you saw the text come up on the screen. And this text comes up on the screen saying deactivated, and you see the hook from Foxy. And this is Foxy right here, and I'm going to pause it right here, and you're going to see that his arm looks like it's been dismantled too, just like the other animatronics and you see that foxy he's here he looks dead his mouth is open like partially open you see his arm it's torn up you kind of see some wires so you guys get the point now right here okay you saw bonnie earlier and he looked all torn up now this one right here this image right here looks like a bonnie and he looks like he has makeup on and what you're gonna see here is a way that looks like bonnie but it's looks he looks new and different and i'm going to play it right here he's actually going to open his eyes right here now i'm going to pause it right here this is actually the first time you're going to see the little interface of when you have your ipad up you're looking at the camera now on the top left corner you see a battery and i don't see a percentage sign but this is a teaser i mean it's not a teaser this is a trailer so you know things are subject to change or add or take away or whatever but on the top left you see a battery life um 
On the top right corner, we see night 4, 12 a.m. That looks like it hasn't changed. Now, on the bottom right, we have a whole entirely brand new map. Now, if you compare the first map and the second map, they're actually totally different. Now, we still have these little rooms. It's, it still says the same similar stuff. It says, like, camera 01, camera 11, camera 12, blah, 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 other other jazz. And you just see other things. Now, on the bottom of that map, you see, like, the little arrows and you normally see those arrows when you see, uh, what's it called? Um, you, you normally see those arrows, meaning when you actually scroll your mouse over, you pull up your iPad. Now, see, the thing is, it's over to the right. It's not in the middle, like in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. So there has to be another arrow on the left side just to complement it. Because why would they actually put the arrows on the bottom right corner instead of smack dab in the middle? You know, who knows? So let's go ahead and keep playing it right here. You know, as you can see, you see another room. It says Main Hall. And, okay, let me pause it right here. Now, we're on this first image. This is the first time you see the room that you're in. Now, this actually looks a ton different from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Now, on the left side, we see a button, and it says light. Now, there's something missing. Usually, we see a door button right above that or below that, like Five Nights at Freddy's 1. But the thing is, there is no door button. So, in Five Nights at Freddy's 2... There is a possibility that there is no doors in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Because all you see here is just a light. And underneath that light button, it looks to be a vent. So that looks like a vent right there. So that looks like a, an entrance for an animatronic to sneak in. I'm not sure why you wouldn't have a door, but, you know, maybe they just want it to be challenging. Now, the other thing I mentioned earlier was that... Remember how when I said about the arrows, and there's a set of arrows in the bottom right corner? See... There, it was that set of arrows on the bottom right corner. Now, there's another set of arrows on the bottom left corner, and that's red. Now, I already know what that red is for, but I'll go ahead and, like, you know, I'll tell you guys when we get to the part, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, play it right here again. Now we're back in the room. We actually looked a little bit more to the right. Now, we can't see the right side of the room because it just cuts it off and goes to the, the tablet. But as we can see, we see, like, a gaping, big, black I wouldn't say, I don't even know if that's a doorway, but let's say it's just like a double door doorway without the door. It's like, it's just, it's just, I really don't know what to call this, but it just looks pitch black. Like, it looks like when you turn on the light at this frame, if the light does come on, okay, at this frame right here, the light comes on, you see a very deep and dark hallway. So I'm guessing that's probably like one of the main hallways where you can see an animatronic pop up when you turn on the light. So I'm guessing... You, you spot them just by turning on lights, and that's just one of the weird things, okay? Um, but the thing is, there is a light in the hallway. Like, normally, you would just have a light, like, on the left side of you and the right side of you, but now you're actually having a light shoot down a hallway. That's actually kind of neat. So we're actually going to go to the next frame or, you know, the next scene, and we actually see another area. This is the kid's cove. It's on the bottom. It's on, like, kind of like the right side of the little map. You can see presents and stuff, and you see those drawings on the left side. Remember those creepy drawings we saw earlier? We see those creepy drawings again, so maybe that's, like, the, the kid's cove where the kids hang out. I'm really not sure. Maybe when they sign in to go get, like, a private room, I really don't know. But let's keep going to the right. And see, we now we see a light come on right here. And if you're looking at that light, if we zoom in, that that looks really freaky. I'm, I don't know what that is. That actually looks like the the uh, withered foxy. I don't know exactly what that is. Let me know what you guys think that is. I can't really see. I'm not going to go too in-depth with it. But let's go, go ahead and go into the next scene. Right here, we're in the party room one. So it's labeled party room one. So there are multiple party rooms that you can go to, and maybe those animatronics will go in those other rooms, and you can see, like, posters on the wall that say, let's rock, and stuff like that, so, you know, let's go ahead and go to the next scene, uh, right here we see party room three, you know, nothing special, now, right here we see service, parts and service, now, this is the parts and service room, and right here we actually see a light coming on, that's actually really cool, we can actually shoot lights on in the rooms now, but over here we see a dismantled animatronic on the top left. Now, I'm not sure what that is. I'm assuming it's Freddy Fosbear because if you look right here in the middle of the image, you see Freddy Fosbear's head. So maybe that's his old headpiece. And I'm going to get somewhere earlier like later on in this video, but let's go go ahead and on to the next scene. Now these words come up or this text comes up. It says redesigned. Now, what I said earlier about that Bonnie 
earlier when you first saw that withered Bonnie, that's the old Bonnie. Like I said, they took out the animatronic and put it in a new one and they remodeled it. And this is the new remodeled Bonnie. And you can see a remodeled Freddy on the right side. And, and right there you see it's the show stage. So that's the show stage up there on the top right corner of the map. And you are on the bottom left corner of that map. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next scene right here. Now you see this text come up. It says reactivated. Nothing special, really. It's just reactivated. Now, right here, this is a freaky image, okay? Like, if you're actually looking at this, this looks like the withered chicken or the or chica or whatever like that. It looks really freaky. Like, you see his mouth gaping open. His right hand is missing. And it looks, like, disgustingly ugly. And it looks freaky as crap. Like, you know those alien things from Aliens vs. Predator? Like, he opens his mouth and he has, like, another tiny mouth. That's what it looks like on this thing. It's actually really freaky. And if you look at the map, it looks like you're looking at the camera in the vent to the right of you. Remember when we saw the light switch and we saw, like, a vent on that first image when we saw the room the first time? There's... Chances are there is another vent on the right side of that room and you're actually looking at the camera and you turn on the light and you see this creepy ass thing right here on the right side. Now I'm not sure how you avoid him because there's no doors. So once he comes in your room, how do you avoid him? But we're going to get to that in a second here um, or in a minute, however long it takes me, whatever. Now, okay, right here we're in the party room three and we see Freddy. And it looks like this seems to be the old Freddy because if you look at his right eye from his perspective, it looks to be blacked out while the other eye is good. And this doesn't look like th this doesn't look like the new Freddy we saw just like 30 seconds ago or never how long that was ago. This looks like the withered one and he doesn't look as withered as the others because he still looks like a, you know, pretty decent looking Freddy, just like a little screwed up. But one thing I noticed right here, if you look at this little right side of the screen, you see like this little caution triangle mark. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know. I'm not going to assume. But let's go, go ahead into the next scene. You see this text come up saying malfunctioning. Now you're going to see this next image right here. Remember how I told you you saw the Bonnie at the very beginning? He looked dead, the withered Bonnie. He looked dead, but then you see like a little white, like a little red laser eye come on. And this text malfunctioning comes on. And it's actually hinting you that these old animatronics are malfunctioning. And when we go to this next image here, you're going to see the withered Bonnie. And he looks absolutely freaky. Like, you're going to see his face torn up, all the wires everywhere, and you're going to see his eyes red. And he looks beat up and creepy. He doesn't have a left arm. His right hand is missing. He just has little robot fingers. And he has holes all over his legs. Now, the, how in the world is he getting power if they dismantled him? That's the freaky thing. And I don't know what's the backstory behind this thing. But he looks absolutely freaky. Now, you're going to see something else right here. Remember those little red arrows we looked over? Um, earlier, um, that there's red arrows on the bottom left corner of the screen, and you have like the little, the white ones on the bottom right. Now, you, we all know what the bottom right arrows do. They pull up your little iPad. But what you're about to see here in a second, when this mouse scrolls down to the bottom left to pull out the little red thing, or to, to touch the red arrow, you put on a Freddy Fosbear mask, and you're, you, you put it on, and it looks like you're inside his head. And you can actually look through it, and you can still see Bonnie right there. And if you go to the next frame, everything blacks out. You can still see yourself in that Freddy Fosbear helmet, but everything is blacked out in the room. Now, when we go to the next frame, the lights come back on, and you see Bonnie there. So I'm guessing when the actual um, Bonnies or the animatronics come in your room... They sit there and they scan to see if you're the real security guard. Now, if you can react fast enough, you can move that mouse over the little red arrows and put on the Freddy Fazbear helmet. And uh, they'll think that you're just an empty suit. So if you can react fast enough, you can put that on and avoid something. So maybe that's how you get away from them because maybe that's just a substitute for the doors because you have no doors. You just have a light. So you have to put on the mask as soon as you see them. Like you maybe have like a second and a half to react. If you're not fast enough, you're going to die. So maybe that's what you do. I'm not sure. We'll just see when the full game comes out. But let's go, go ahead to the next scene. It says and zero doors. So this proved my point that Five Nights at Freddy's 2 has no doors. And you're going to look at this next scene right here. I already know what's going to happen here, but we're in this room again. And uh, let me take a moment to take a sip of my water because I've been talking. Okay, 
We're back in this room now, and it looks just normal. We have like our battery life on the top right. It says night four, 12 a.m. You know, you get the gist of it. But we're gonna keep going right here, frame by frame, and you're gonna see Freddy, not Freddy. You're gonna see Foxy come out of the darkness, and you already know what's gonna happen if you've seen the trailer. But I'm gonna keep going. We're at this section right here. Um, we're at this frame, and. Foxy is actually coming out from the shadow and it doesn't look like he's standing up. He's jumping out of the darkness towards you. That is freaky, dude. And if you notice something right here, you see that little caution mark. Remember how we saw that caution mark earlier earlier on the on the map? That caution mark means something. Now, that caution mark actually appears when Foxy comes out and jumps at you. So, that usually means danger or caution. I'm not sure. But we saw that caution mark on a map. So, what does that caution mark mean on a map? Like, we're just gonna have to wait and see what the, when the real game comes out. But what do you guys think that caution mark means? Like, versus, like, on the map versus in your first person view on the bottom left corner as you see there. But, we're gonna keep going frame by frame. He jumps out at you, opens his mouth, and he's the withered Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Like, his arm is torn up and everything. And you see, like, his ear, the robot piece. Like, he doesn't have his skin on his ear. It's just the robot ear piece. And then we're going to keep going forward, and he jumps at your face, and then you die. So, um, another thing I'm going to get at you guys. I saw this image, and it looked really freaky, but I think this image right here is the remastered, the remodeled Foxy. And as you can see right here... It's you looking down that really deep and dark hallway in front of you, and you see Foxy, and he looks like a clown, and you see, like, parts coming out, and he looks really freaky. Like, just imagine, like, a, a Slender Man, like, uh, just imagine a Slender Man at the end of that hallway, and you see his tentacles coming out. That's what it looks like, but like a Freddy, a Foxy-looking version, and that's really, really insane. Like, I just want to see what happens if you get caught by him, but yeah, let's just, let's just see what happens, guys, when the real game comes out. Now, before I go, there's one little thing I want to mention. Uh, I actually have a theory myself at how the game will play out somewhat. I'm not sure exactly 100%, but it could be. Like, okay, here's what I want to say. You notice the text in the actual trailer, how it would go from blue to red? Like, the word malfunctioning. It'll go from blue to red. Now... If you look at Bonnie in the very beginning when he's like on the floor and he looks dead and then you see that red eye come on, maybe he's malfunctioning and he's actually looking out there. Like he's probably programmed to kill the security guard for whatever purpose the robot has. You know, like in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, they want to get you. They think you're a robot, so they want to stuff you in a suit. Now his eyes are probably red and he's probably looking for you as the human to kill you and he maybe like the the red eyes means he sees you as a threat so if you see like say bonnie come in your room and you see his eyes are red you have to hurry up and put on that freddy head had the helmet on or if you don't do it fast enough he'll kill you because he sees you as the human he's like oh you're not in your suit i'm going to kill you blah 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 and then you know you're dead he puts you in the suit you die but see if he comes in your room and his eyes are blue maybe that blue means he's not looking for you. Maybe he's out to kill the robots, not the humans. Like he wants to kill he wants to kill the animatronics themselves. He doesn't he's not worrying about you being a suit. He's worried about the L, the uh, animatronic. Like maybe his programming screwed his brain up. And you know how in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, they want to kill you and put you in the actual suit them, your, themselves. Like they want to stuff you in a suit and you can't fit in there. But if his eyes are blue, maybe it's the opposite or something like that. So maybe when he comes in your room and his eyes are blue, you don't even have to put on the little helmet thing because he sees you as a friendly. He's looking for the Fosbear suit. So if you accidentally put on the helmet when his eyes are blue, he's going to see you as one of those robots and then you're dead. So maybe you kind of have to time it or maybe you have to like look at his face. Like when he comes in your room, are his eyes red? If they're red, put on the suit or the helmet. If they're blue, don't put it on because he sees you as a friendly and he won't kill you as long as you don't put it on. So maybe that's what it is. I'm really not sure because it said malfunctioning. They are malfunctioning. So what, the difference between the red and the blue, maybe blue means friendly and red means a threat or something like that. Like he sees you as a threat and he sees you as a friendly. So I, I think that's how it plays. But see, Bonnie is the only one, I think, that actually has the blue and the red. What about the other animatronics, like the chicken and Freddy? You don't see red or blue on their faces, so how do you hide from them if they get in your room? That's kind of weird. Maybe only Bonnie is malfunctioning, and he could be the difference between friendly and 
uh, friendly and a threat. I really don't know, guys. This is just me being a theory, but that that has to be something. The blue changing to the red has to be something. I don't know. Like, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This video is already 20 minutes. Like, it's very long. I'm sorry. Like, just just thank you guys for getting this far. Like, if you guys actually gotten this far, you know, and you want to comment, type a comment down below and just say, I watched the whole video in like all caps or something. I really don't know. I want to see how many of you got to this point. But yeah, I hope you liked this video. I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you share this with your friends because Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is coming out in 2015, I believe. I'm not sure. I'm guessing 2015. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. Type in your theories, what you think about the game, and, you know, just talk about the game in the comments. Like, you know, hateful comments and stuff like that. Let's just talk about the game. It's just straight game talk. So hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up. It'll help out a lot. And peace out.